Welcome to another build video for Sunbreak. We got a lot of new toys to play with in the new update and one of them that I'm featuring today is Frenzied Blood Loss, which gives an extra water bug after recovering from blood loss. That water bug is counted separately from the ones you pick up on the field, which means we can now get a total of 4 water bugs to spam silk bind attacks. And in this video, I wanted to focus on one particular silk bind attack from the hunting horn, Sonic Bloom. This little egg right here does a lot of damage. The problem is, it's stuck in one place. So you will need to lure the monster near the egg to deal damage. You also need to stay close to it, otherwise it will just pop on its own and deal less damage. These factors could limit your mobility and make it dangerous for you. But instead of finding a way around it, I decided to work with it. The build I have today will make sure that you can safely spam Sonic Bloom without sacrificing on damage. One thing that can help with that is the Hunting Horn Melody, Sonic Barrier, which can prevent roars and knockbacks from one hit. And with the latest update, it can now reduce damage from monsters by 30%. With that said, we're gonna need a weapon but Sonic Barrier. My first choice is the Devil's Loot. It has a good amount of raw and it has natural purple sharpness. And in case you don't know, Sonic Bloom relies on your weapon's sharpness as well. It also has access to an attack and defense song which is great if you don't like running with followers. My other choice is the Bell of Laertes. It does a little bit more damage than Devil's Loot and even more so after fully upgrading the anomaly slots since it will get more sharpness enough to reach purple. Also, if you want something that can heal, then this could be a better choice for you. It only has a level 1 rampage slot though, but that's fine because you could still use the new Wirebug Deco, which adds 30 seconds on all temporary Wirebugs that you get. If you want more skills that improve Wirebugs, then you're in luck because the Risen Kushala Helm is made just for that. It has level 1 Wind Mantle and all 3 levels of Wirebug Whisperer. To further improve survivability, I chose to use the Amatsu chest for one level of Heaven Scent. One level of this will also give you the ability to sharpen your weapon when skill swapping. And for the last three pieces of equipment, I chose to use Risen Shaggy Gloves, Waist, and Legs to get me three levels of Frenzied Blood Loss. This will maximize the time that I will keep the extra wire bug from this skill, because the longer you keep your wire bugs, the more Sonic Blooms you could spam. And just a side note, Sonic Bloom doesn't crit, so all you need is raw attack. I think almost everyone should have a level 3 attack boost salesman lying around, so go ahead and use that. Use whatever has the slots you need depending on the skill you want to add. But before you start adding anything, here are the skills you'll need first. We have basic defensive skills to further lower damage received alongside Sonic Barrier. Resuscitate to go along with Blood Loss to get lots of raw attack and Koalicin's ass back up when Bloodlust gets resolved. I know I just said that crit doesn't matter, but since the armor gives 2 levels of weakness exploit, I thought I might as well get it to level 3 so I get some crits from my weapon attacks. And with that, you can now add whatever skills you want. For some guidance, here's what I recommend. Since you're gonna get hit a lot, resentment would at least boost some of your damage. Same with Dragonheart at level 4 and 5. Agitator can sometimes help, but you might need one level of Embolden to enrage monsters more frequently. Handicraft if you end up using Bell of Laertes or a weapon without purple sharpness. And the best thing that can improve your damage is Frostcraft, but it can be annoying to use because you need to sheet your weapon every now and then to replenish the bar, so it's totally up to you if you want to deal with that. I'm just leaving it here as an option, but if you want to make your life easier, just leave it out. And speaking of making your life easier, here are some tips with playing with this build. 1. Due to how long you're stuck in one place when laying down Sonic Bloom, activating Sonic Berry beforehand will protect you from knockbacks. 2. Using Echo Mode seems to trigger Sonic Bloom faster, blowing up with just 2 songs instead of 3 with Performance Mode. Maybe it's because of self-improvement activating at the same time as the melodies. Leave a comment if you know how this works. Three. These are all the switch skills that you'll need. Make sure it's the same setup for both red and blue scrolls to avoid confusion when skill swapping to replenish your sharpness. And lastly, here's a couple of Danko recommendations that you could use based on your taste.
feel free to leave a comment down below if you guys have any other suggestions to improve this build. Also leave a like if the info in this video was helpful and subscribe to help support the channel. Thank you guys for watching and see you all next time.